Christina M. Long from the Optimal Health Network, and I'm going to talk to you about aluminum toxicity. Unfortunately, aluminum is ubiquitous in our environment, and so it is just so easy to get aluminum in the body and for it to raise to toxic levels. You can get it from deodorant, from cookware, from the air and the soil, from cake mixes, from sliced cheese. Um, unfortunately, again, aluminum is everywhere. Symptoms of aluminum toxicity can include anemia, IBS, autism, diminished kidney function, uh, confusion, uh, irritability, anxiety, sleeplessness. Most symptoms over time of aluminum toxicity are neurological and can become quite serious. So you definitely want to work on clearing aluminum from the body um, throughout your lifetime. What we recommend to track the aluminum levels are a hair tissue mineral analysis. The reason that the hair is such a great diagnostic tool to determine and track aluminum in the body is because the blood um, shunts the heavy metals out of that system and into the bones and the tissues and the skin trying to get it out of the body and so therefore it's much easier to measure the accurate amounts in those storage sites versus doing a blood test that doesn't really give accurate levels. Urine tests can also be really great for measuring aluminum toxicity. If you're experiencing any of the more serious symptoms that I've mentioned, you definitely want to see your doctor. So what do you do to uh, um, remove the aluminum from your body and optimize your health? Well, one is educating yourself about it so you can determine where it's coming from and also how to uh, change your lifestyle in order to um, remove the aluminum and stop it from coming in your body. The next thing is learning about which supplements are beneficial. So um, one supplement that's great is Research Nutritionals Toxin Pool, and this one is particularly um, important because of the um, silica in here that is, there's lots of research showing that silica uh, helps remove aluminum from the body very effectively and also it's supportive for the kidneys um, which can often be damaged in, with aluminum toxicity. Also for the liver we've got dandelion root and taurine and quercetin um, which are all important for optimizing liver health. So that's a great foundational supplement for aluminum toxicity. I do recommend though um, a multiple pronged approach. Digestive enzymes important to improve digestion and also increase bile flow. That can be also used with the toxin pull and then also chlorophyll to uh, get a good flow of binding um, agents in the body so as the bile is dumped into the top of the small intestines um, that there's uh, that binding agent moving through the body that can then um, carry out the aluminum when you do something like your enema series for instance so um, I also find that people can be real sensitive when they're removing aluminum, so it can be good to rotate your supplements because then you can tell, oh, this is a little much or um, this one works better than the other one. So often I'll recommend day one, toxin pull, day two, GB3, day three, chlorophyll. So those are some great ideas for removing uh, aluminum toxicity. And again, you want to track that over time, over the years, with something like a hair tissue mineral analysis. Analysis. It's also good to use um, supplements that support the brain because, as I had said, aluminum toxicity is um, often damaging to the nervous system. And so it's great to put in supplements like curcumin to help protect the nervous system and in particular the brain, as well as bacopa is another um, supplement herb that is very supportive of 
um, brain health and uh, bringing down inflammation and just supporting the bodily systems as you recover from aluminum toxicity. Vitamin C also is really helpful because it boosts the functioning of the immune system and then it also supports um, good tissue integrity uh, as those toxic tissues are being um, replaced with uh, newer, healthier um, non-toxic tissues. So that's a fantastic supplement program that I highly recommend you use when you're um, detoxing from aluminum. So it can also be really important to do colon cleansing when you're clearing out the body from aluminum to increase the flow of the stool as well as the bile as well as to increase glutathione levels, these sorts of things. So we recommend a three-step process called our enema series, which starts with our um, made for enema soap, which is really rich in butyric acid to help repair and rebuild the mucosal lining of the colon, and then to help replenish the electrolytes as you're moving out these this extra content. That second enema in the series, sea salt with our prebiotic, the colon cleanse essential oil blend, and then the coffee to really help improve liver health and again the flow of the bile. So do consider taking the enema series um, on a regular basis when you're detoxing from aluminum. Perhaps um, some people will do it as frequently as once a day for a bit. Um, others will do it like with the, um, our 10 days to optimal health diet and they'll do it the enema series once every 10 days, things like that. So also we have suppositories that can be used in supporting the body to detox from aluminum. Like we have a liver cleanse blend which supports liver health and optimizes the functioning of the liver as it's dealing with uh, the extra um, lift of aluminum as you uh, take the supplements and change the diet and the aluminum's being released into the system. So the liver cleanse suppository can support the body to get through that as can our coffee enema essential oil blend which increases the glutathione levels in the body uh, as antioxidant support. So those are all fantastic ways to improve your health and recover from aluminum toxicity and just keep the aluminum uh, out of your body. And so if you need any support with that, do reach out to us at OptimalHealthNetwork.com and we are here to help you. Thank you.